Hello, welcome to this Toy to Otago Settlers Museum presentation. Picasso once said painting is just another way of keeping a diary. In this presentation, we're going to look at some examples from the painted diary of one of New Zealand's best known maritime artists, Captain Thomas Robertson. Master Mariner Thomas Robertson was born in Bowness, Scotland in 1819. By 1853, he was commanding ships in Australia, and then in the early 1860s, he moved to New Zealand and was based in Port Chalmers. Finally, in 1871, he moved to Japan and died there in 1873. We have seven paintings by or attributed to Robertson at Toy to Otago Settlers Museum. I'm gonna tell you about four of them today. This first painting shows Port Chalmers with the SS Pirate on the right. The Pirate was a ship that was built in 1848, originally for the Glasgow and Liverpool trade, and then worked in the Mediterranean before being placed on the Australian intercolonial routes in 1853. In 1859, under the command of Robertson himself, the Pirate began service on the route between Port Chalmers and Melbourne. It was an ignominious start, as one passenger drowned after falling overboard in a gale on the voyage to Port Chalmers. And then in October 1861, on a voyage to Melbourne via Hobart, the pirate, with Robertson in command, ran aground in thick fog between Long Point and Falmouth on the east coast of Tasmania. Attempts to refloat the ship failed, and eventually it became a total wreck. Next, we have the SS Aldinger, a ship which was built in 1860 and entered the Trans-Tasman trade during the gold rushes. In this painting, the Aldinger is believed to be passing the newly constructed Dog Island Lighthouse in Fobo Strait. Captain Robertson was involved with the Marine Board at Port Chalmers during the construction of the lighthouse. He made an inspection of the island early in 1863 travelled down with a contractor to look at the site in April 1864, and appears to have made more than one visit to check on progress in the weeks before the lighthouse went into operation in August 1865. In 1867, a collection of 14 of Robertson's paintings was assembled for his second Art Union Lottery. The winning numbers were drawn in February 1868. Seventh prize was a work titled Vessels in Port Chalmers, which was won by W. Elder of Port Chalmers. Now, it just so happens that Port Chalmers chemist William Elder was Thomas Robertson's new son-in-law, having married Robertson's daughter Minnie a few weeks earlier at Robertson's house. If this is indeed the same painting, it appears to have been later handed down to Minnie and William's daughter Marion, who donated it to the museum in 1930. Our final painting was first prize in that same Art Union Lottery in February 1868. It was also the largest piece in the lottery, and it has become probably the most famous of Robertson's paintings. It's titled The Landing of Sir George Grey from HMS Brisk at Port Chalmers, 1867. It shows the brisk on the right, anchored off Rocky Point, with the crew manning the yard arms and firing a salute, whilst Governor Grey is going ashore in a boat. His destination, the jetty at Port Chalmers, was decorated for the occasion with two arches made of foliage and flags. On one of the arches was the inscription, Welcome Sir George Grey, though you've been long a coming, indicating that there was still some ill feeling surrounding the governor's failure to come to Dunedin for the opening of the New Zealand exhibition back in 1865. So there you have it, four fine works by one of New Zealand's best known maritime artists. Four works, which proved Picasso hit the nail on the head when he said painting is just another way of keeping a diary. Thanks for watching.